swings are interesting, aren't they? I think the most fascinating ones of all are those at the circus, the swings of the trapeze artists. Have you ever noticed how they time to perfection the swinging and jumping off the swing and all the other tricks that they manage to do? They understand not only swings, but also they understand what a pendulum is. And a pendulum is really anything that's hanging on a rope or string or wire with a weight at one end that swings out and comes back. And if we're going to understand a little bit more about the pendulum, we should first of all find out about this one. I'd like to know how long it takes to get from this side, across there and back again, with me on it. So you help me. We'll count in seconds. What I'll do is get on board like this and we'll count seconds. One and two and like that. You ready? Let's try it. On your mark, get set, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... It looks as if it's taking about four seconds to get there and back. That's with me on it. I wonder what it would be like with a much heavier weight, a much bigger mass. Rob! Let's try it. You. Once again, you help me count as we watch Rob. You ready, Rob? Mm -hmm. Go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... About the same. Isn't that incredible? Even though there's a big difference in our weights. Let's try it with a very small weight. Happen to have a little friend over here, Teddy Bear. We'll put him on board and uh, once again I'll get you to count seconds and we'll see how long he takes. There we are. Back to the beginning again. Same point. On your mark, get set, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and you guessed it, four seconds again. Isn't that amazing? Did you notice something else? Not only did it take the same time, but for a moment there, the swing seemed to be stationary when it reached this side and the other side. I wonder if we can make it get there and back more rapidly by starting nearer the centre. Let's try it from this position. On your mark, get set. One and two and three and four and still the same. We don't seem to be able to do anything to it to make it hurry up in getting there and back. Isn't that incredible? Well, that's one of the things that the trapeze artists understand very well. They know that regardless of the weight of the people on the swings, if they have the length of the swings the same, they'll always take the same time to get there and back. So if you have two different people on swings the same length, if you start them at the same time, look at this. One, two, three, four. They'll always come together at the same time. Of course, not all swings are the same length. Sometimes you get short swings in the circus. Have a look at the difference this time. The short one swings much more rapidly than the large one. Doesn't mean the swings have to be the same length, but if they're different lengths, they'll have to time it very carefully, practice many times, so that they know just when they'll come together. Another thing they showed me at the circus was how to fall off the trapeze swing into the safety net. You must let go of the swing when it gets to the end of its flight now, but I was a little late. You can see what happened, I fell backwards and landed on the neck. Could be very dangerous. So the second time I tried it, they said, don't you worry about trying to tell when the swing is still, we'll watch it and we'll tell you and we'll call out now. And as soon as you hear that word now, you must release your fingers. And if the swing is stationary, don't worry about it, you will fall straight down. And so I listened very carefully for that word. My ears were pricked up. At the end of this swing, you watch. The swing is stationary, they call out now. I release my fingers and I fall vertically down, safely on the bottom, bounce up and land on my feet, which is the only safe way to fall from a trapeze swing.